This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for another day. Thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. Thank you, hallelujah, for being our strength and our joy and our strong tower. Thank you for keeping us in the hollow of your hand. Thank you for keeping us in the center of your will. Thank you for blessing us and keeping us watching over us all through the night. Thank you for your host of angels all about our bedside and all about our homes last night. Thank you for being the locks on our windows and the locks on our doors. Thank you for being the keeper of our um, homes today, the guardian of our homes today. We thank you today, Father. We thank you for waking us up and just giving us another opportunity to bless you and giving us another opportunity to praise you, another opportunity to lift you up, another opportunity to magnify you and glorify you, another opportunity to exalt you and give you praise, another opportunity to bless you, hallelujah, another opportunity to say thank you, hallelujah, thank you, thank you for life, thank you for health, thank you for strength, thank you for the activity of our limbs today, thank you, hallelujah, for your sovereignty today, thank you for being sovereign, for being a sovereign God, hallelujah, Thank you for your omnipotence and your omnipresence today. Hallelujah. Thank you for never leaving us or forsaking us, but always being there. Thank you for being our strength and our joy, our strong tower, our hope and our peace. Thank you for being our hold on when we want to let go. Thank you for being our rejuvenation when we're tired. Thank you for being our health when we're sick. Thank you for being our everything and our all in all. You are the lifter of our heads today. And you are the order of our steps today. Hallelujah. You are our everything. Hallelujah. And our all in all. And we thank you. Hallelujah. We lift you up this morning. Knowing that when we lift you up, you lift us up. We bless you this morning. Knowing that when we bless you, you bless us. Hallelujah. And so we thank you today. Bless those today that are not well. Bless those today that are sick and in the hospital and struggling with all different types of ailments from um, heart issues and kidneys and uh, lungs and diabetes, amen, all the way to COVID. We ask for your blessings upon everyone that's struggling with something today. Breathe on their bodies today. Breathe about healing. Breathe healing over their bodies from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Breathe healing our family members that are not well today. We ask you for healing. We ask you for life today. We ask that you would continue to breathe, hallelujah, your breath of life over them today. That you would give doctors wisdom. That you would give them wisdom and direction. That you would give our nurses wisdom and direction and clarity. Even as they give out meds. Even as they take people's <clears throat> excuse me, vitals or um, um, do different um, assessments over them that you would give them wisdom and um, strength today. Bless our doctors and our nurses today, Father God. Bless those on the front line today. Bless them and heal their bodies and um, touch their bodies and, and, and bring about restoration and rejuvenation for them. For those that are overworked and those that are fatigued and those that are tired, we ask that you would give them relief. We ask that you would breathe relief on them, those that are at work and are working today and happen to be tired or happen to not be feeling well. We ask that you would breathe on them today and then you would give unto them healing and strength today, restoration to their minds, that you would not allow their minds um, to be overly taxed, that you would not allow their minds to be overly fatigued that you would just breathe restoration over them today. For those that are um, ministering health and uh, assessments to people with COVID, we ask that you would strengthen their immune systems, that you would not allow their immune systems, Father, to be worn down, that they end up being sick themselves, taking care of other people. But we ask you, Father, that you would breathe on them today and that you would fortify them today and that you would build them up today and that you would raise them up and that you would give them strength. Hallelujah. From one state to the other, all across the United States of America, we ask that you bless our nurses and bless our doctors today. We ask you for 
offers healing over the land concerning COVID. We ask that you would breathe in the atmosphere, breathe about healing in the land today. We ask you, Father God, that you would remove this virus from our land. We continue to pray and we continue to stay on our faces. Hallelujah. Give us wisdom on what to continue to do. Wisdom on how to kick it to another level. Wisdom on how to be more steadfast. Still more steadfast in our prayers. More steadfast in fasting, which I can do more of. We ask that you would allow us and help us to do a um, greater level of speaking the word. Hallelujah. Because you said your word would not return unto your void. So give us another level of speaking the word and declaring the word and speaking health and healing that we would take time to pray. So we ask you, Father, that you would um, remove, have mercy and grace on us. But at the same time, help us to do our part. Teach us all what we're supposed to be doing individually to help assist with this situation today. We ask you, Father, for a proper vaccine. We ask that you would root out all evil that would be um, an unsafety, unsafe measures taken to end this vaccine. That you would um, remove everything that's not like you and that you would bind and rebuke and bring down the hand of the adversary to place things in this vaccine that would be harmful for us, that would be harmful for generations to come, that would be harmful in the long run that wouldn't benefit us, but that would be crucial to our makeup, true, crucial to our genetic makeup, crucial to our genetic being, crucial to who we are, and to our offspring, to our children's 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 children, to generations to come. We ask you for a safe vaccine. Hallelujah. We ask that you would breathe all through the laboratories, that you would breathe on their hearts, those that are creating those that are experimenting, those that are um, researching. We ask you for um, honest research. We ask you for honest and diligent research today. Hallelujah. Um, safe research today. We ask you, Father, that you would give people um, a heart to want to create something, want to um, put together something that will truly benefit people. Amen. Thank you for the beautiful sunrise this morning. Thank you for the beauty of today. The sun is always shining, even if it's not shining where we are at that time. The S O N is always the S U N is always somewhere shining, as well as the S O N. Thank you for your sun today. Hallelujah. Thank you for so loving the world that you gave your only begotten Son. Amen. That whosoever will believe it in Him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Ooh, that's pretty. Amen. That's pretty. Thank you, Abba Father. And so we thank you for this being the day that you have made, and we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Breathe on those that are uh, grieving in this season, those that have lost loved ones, those whose loved ones are not, no longer with them, maybe just recently left. Maybe it's been a while and they're still having a hard time, I ask that you would breathe on their hearts today and that you would lift up their hearts today. Isaiah 61 says um, that you would give us an oil of joy for our mourning. You would give us beauty for ashes. You would give us a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And so do that for my family today. Do that for my loved ones, for my friends today. Do that for someone that I don't even know today. Your word is true and your word is sound and your word is sure. And so just lift up hung down heads today. Dry tears today. Hallelujah. Uh, wipe off um, frowns or wipe off heaviness and grant unto people an oil of joy and grant unto, grant unto people um, peace today. Hallelujah. That's pretty. Amen. So just shine down in our hearts the same way the sun is shining. The light of the sun is shining through the trees. Shine down in our hearts today. Shine down in our souls today. Shine down in the intricate parts of our being today. All down in our DNA. All down in our makeup. Just shine. Amen. Shine on our mental state that our minds will be strong today. Shine in our spiritual state. That will spiritually be strong today shine in our physical state that we will physically 
be strong and well today. I speak wellness and wholeness to our bodies and soundness to our bodies today. Hallelujah. Continue to breathe on us and keep your angels around about us. Keep us safe no matter where we are today. Hallelujah. Keep us safe while we're home, inside of our home. Breathe safety. Continue to give us creative ideas on how to spend time at home. Continue to remove any um, oppression and depression and um, cabin fever. Hmm. And give us um, just creative ideas and give us upliftedness in our homes today. Show us when we need to be out and when we need to stay at home. Keep us in compliance with what we need to do that we may stay well and those around us may stay well. Hallelujah. Let us not be weary in well-doing. Amen. Hallelujah. That we'll reap in due season if we faint not. Hallelujah. That we'll reap a COVID-free environment. Amen. That eventually we'll have a COVID-free environment. Help us to be diligent right where we are today, Father. Hallelujah. Just cover us. Hallelujah. Cover us in the blood. Cover us our fam cover our family members in the blood. Our children, our grandchildren, our parents, grandparents, sisters, brothers, aunties, uncles, cousins, God daughters and sons, God brothers and sisters, amen. Just bless all the way around. In-laws, mother-in-laws, and father-in-laws, brothers, sister-in-laws, just bless all the way around, amen. And keep our families safe today. Hallelujah, we keep them at your feet as we keep ourselves at your feet, hallelujah. Just trusting you. We'll just continue to trust you. We'll continue to speak blessings over our family. We continue to speak life over our family. Hallelujah. Life and blessings over our family, over our children, wherever they are, over our grandchildren, wherever they are. Keep them safe and keep them sound for us today, Father. Keep them in the center of your will today. Keep them covered that they may live long and strong and do great things in the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless you this morning. We praise you this morning. Remind us, hallelujah, that your joy is our strength. Nehemiah 8 and 10, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. So when we're down, help us to praise you. When we're down, help us to laugh. Help us to rejoice. Help us to find things to pick us up. If it's a, a clean comedy show, amen, that we can crack up at, at and laugh because laughter does good like a medicine. Amen. Hallelujah. If it's positive um, music at times, hallelujah, it should show us what we need to do. Positive reading, positive affirmations show us what we need to do today. Hallelujah. We thank you and we praise you for this beautiful day. We call it beautiful. Hallelujah in advance. We call it blessed in advance. We call it good in advance. We call it well in advance. We love you. We praise you. We bless you, Abba Father, in the mighty and awesome and majestic name that's greater than every other name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And amen.